Guys, welcome to my video. Um, you have to excuse me, so I've up being at match today and uh, done a lot of shouting at the stupid referee that must have been bribed a lot of money. Anyway, we lost. Um, what we're doing is uh, laying the 3.5 goals, and as you can see, I've just been scalping pre match on the draw. I managed to get it to uh, £20 on there. I'm going to try and get a bit more out of this. Uh, I ain't got it on screen at the moment. I'm trying to watch golf as well, I've got a few trades on there. Right, uh, so I'd like to get this up to, as you know, £30-£40. Um, led the uh, under 3.5 goals. <coughs> Excuse me. With it being a high lay price, you'll find that we should uh, should get out of this pretty quick. And correct scores. Excuse my throat. As normal. Just give me a sec while I clear my throat. Hell, that's referee's got a lot to answer for. <laughs> um, I've dutched the 1 2, 2 1, 3 1, and 1 3 for £30. Sorry, we're on wrong page. And there you go. That's just in case a few goals go in. Not got matched in there yet, so, so doing the normal thing. Um, I put some trades up on site this this morning. I couldn't trade them myself because I actually went to match. Uh, but you should have, if you managed to get in on the Leeds match, that were a nice easy lay. Um, Crystal Palace, Sunderland, slightly different. They were an early goal, I think, after nine or ten minutes. But if you double double dipped or even waited till half time, you should have got out with a profit. And uh, with some even more profits on the the scores, with, with it ending up three one, whether you traded out while it were two one, I waited till three one. You should have some nice, uh, nice profits there. Okay, we're just trying to scalp on the uh, <coughs> the draw. Nothing much happening at the moment. There we go. We've been matched on that side of it. Let's see if we can sneak another five pound out of this. Okay, <coughs> as you can see, I'm going to do that so I can get this up, up hopefully to uh, to a decent amount. I'm going up to 25 at the moment, so I won't bore you to death. This is what I'm going to be doing, scalping in and out. Um, I do normally like to watch match, so I'm just going to see if I can find some sort of pictures somewhere because I want to watch my golf as well. Okay, guys, we've been playing uh, 16 minutes. Time to start thinking of getting out of the uh, under 3.5 goals. As you can see in the match odds, I managed to uh, scalp £55 out of it, which is uh, nice. It was just going nicely, so I kept dipping in and out. Uh, under over 3.5 goals, around 16 minutes. There's a nice, uh, <coughs> nice little profit to be had there. I'm, four minutes left as, as you know I like to get out so gonna take the 30 pound profit hopefully hopefully nobody scores uh, just been looking at stats I haven't got much on um, as you can see not much happening we only had a couple of shots uh, it's pretty even Stevens which is how I like it yeah only one corner happy days hopefully nobody scores before we get matched here and uh, the correct score obviously we're going to be uh, looking a bit sad but not to worry we've uh, in the match odds we've got a 55 pound set there which covers us for the, if it does end up nil nil hopefully it doesn't still waiting to get matched correct score What we want to be looking at is uh, looking at the two nils now and get a bit of money on there. Uh, usually, if you're watching game, it's uh <coughs> so look. So we want the uh, nil two and two nil. I can see they're going quite high, so we could try and get a bit of cover on there. At the moment we've got £30 in there, but if you remember we've got 50 covering us on the nil-nil. Um, leave it a bit longer. If I can get something around 
Yeah, the reason I do the uh, two nil and nil two is we've got the two ones and we've got the three ones to either side. We're covered on the nil nil one one or two apiece. Uh, so if we get the two nils, okay. If somebody goes to one nil, then uh, obviously it's going to get nearer to the uh, the two nils, and uh, hopefully gets us in a good position to trade. Uh. Okay, so that'll make us uh, up to forty pound in the. Uh, correct scores and as you can see we're covered on the nil nil one one two pieces or three piece or four piece if it ever goes to that stupid <coughs> so we should be on for a nice little profit see what's happening not a lot we've had one more shot on goal and one more corner so uh, looks like uh, Osasuna are uh, Getting a bit more possession now. Okay, I'll get back to you when something happens. And hopefully we're in the money. Sorry, I forgot to say, there we go. So we've got his uh, £31 profit on the over 3.5 goals lay. And we've got £40 stuck in the correct score at the moment. So worst case scenario is it ends up 1-0. If it ends up 0-0. Um, well, we haven't got matched on the two nils yet. If uh, it ended up nil nil, then obviously we've got another fifty-five pounds to come there. And uh, let's uh, get back to it when somebody scores. My throat's killing. <laughs> okay, it's been a goal. Just while I nip down to make a cup of tea, <laughs> sod's law. Um. Did we get matched in the uh, nil twos? Oops! Made really a bit cock up there, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Oh dear! We we'll have to get out of that somehow. Okay, let me work on that one. Okay, not to oneself. Uh, don't leave uh, leave your bets in play if you disappear to make a cup of tea. That's what I ended up doing. So it sort of stuffed my correct score up, but I managed to sneak myself out of it with a four pound and uh, four pound ninety one, as you can see. So I'm going to have to scratch, but you should be in a good position with that, to be honest. If as long as you didn't make the same mistake as I did, um, I'm going to leave it go till half time and see if I can get some more bets. So as you can see, the goal was scored on uh, 22 minutes. We got just after that 20 mark, 20 minute mark that I keep going on about. Um, biggest problem I have now is I've got out of my correct scores, which normally I wouldn't have had to do, but uh, we're leaving that running. Some idiots saw the opportunity and took my money, uh, but I managed to s scratch out of it and uh, made a five or four quid. Okay, so this £55 in here is not a problem as such. Um, but I could take the £11 profit and scratch the trade, but I'm going to leave it till half time and see if I can uh, come up with another strategy for you. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, it's now 2 0 to Villarreal, which doesn't help me on the match odds market. Obviously, I'm not going to be losing anything, but uh, as you can see. Um, as I say, I'm going to wait till half time and see what markets uh, are open to us and uh, see if we can get another trade in there. Um, I've already got my uh, £31 profit plus the four or five quid I got from the correct score. Match odds, obviously, it's still there just in case Villa, um, Osasuna make a fight back. I'll have a look at some markets during half time, depending on what score it is, see if we can make a few pounds. So I'll catch you at half time. Okay guys, uh, a bit of speculative fun for the second half. What we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to put £2 on us as soon. Remember we've already got to uh, draw on a side. Okay. So makes us down to a, a loss of two pound. But what we, what we need is also someone to score a goal. <coughs> We've already has us 
profit on the uh, over 3.5 goals <coughs> and uh, due to my cock up I'm basically uh, stitched up a bit on there but so what I'm going to do is uh, to cover that uh, that I've just put you've just seen me put on um, I've got five pounds to play with um, you shouldn't be doing this you should be already uh, it should be in a nice figure here because you've got the t uh, one twos and the one threes on your side it's two nil at the moment so I advise if you're still trading on that is uh, just put a bit of that onto the correct the score that it's already at what I'm going to do here is uh, let's change this Five on the nil three, and a five on the one three. Okay, it's, it's, uh, I'm playing with money I've already won, but uh, shouldn't be having to do that. But my cock up from leaving me trading play while well, I went to make a cup of tea. <laughs> in fact, all in all, it's not been really a good day today. But uh, so if you can see what I'm working on here, that. Uh, Got draw on my side. I've just put a couple of quid on us soon and speculative that uh, they might score a goal. It's going to come down a bit, and also the draw will. And it's only costing me a couple of quid. And in the correct score, just in case it goes the other way. And uh, Valerial score another one. Uh, we've got a bit of profit to be uh, to be had there. That should get matched in a minute. Okay, get back to you from when anything happens. Okay, guys. Um, Villarreal, Villarreal. So I'll throw it again. I've just uh, scored. We're frozen at the moment, so it's actually on uh, nil three. So it's only danger now is if uh, Villarreal go and score another one. We've got 15 minutes to either sweat it out or cover a bit on there. So obviously, uh, I'm going to lose a two pound on here. I don't think. Uh, Osasuna are going to score three goals in next uh, four goals in next uh, 15 minutes um, but in the correct score now when it settles down we should be in a slightly better position I ignore all that that's just gone crazy just let it settle down and I'll come back to it um, so as you can see it's 3-0 now and uh, what we're hoping for is no more goals. Okay, I'll get back to you if anything happens. Okay, it's settled down. Um, just in case uh, Villarreal scored another goal, decided to trade out. So we've got £16 profit on there. Um, hopefully you guys have made a bit more than that because uh, you wouldn't have made this mistake I did. So you should be sitting pretty. You should have, uh, when it went to 2-0, you should have had the two ones and the three ones or traded around it and you should have been okay anyway um, this is the way I ended up playing it and uh, so look ended up with 31 pound on the over 3.5 goals and 16 pound on the correct score and just got two pounds to knock off there yeah and I got two pound happy days see you in the uh, game tomorrow I think you should be able to trade one tomorrow I'll let you know at website in the morning or maybe even later tonight okay sorry about the soft roads and uh, hopefully it's gone tomorrow and we can win some more cash